Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Nika. Thank you so much for stopping in. So today I just wanted to do a quick little chit chat with you all just about acknowledging your flaws. Something I feel like a lot of us kind of tend to, we get lost in sometimes. We want to pretend like we're perfect or we're amazing beings, especially when going into a relationship or being in a relationship with somebody. We like to over-exaggerate our purpose in their life or our presence in their life to the point where we're like, I was the best they ever had. I'm the best they ever going to get, especially us ladies. We do that. So um, I want to talk about the problems with that, though. It's just when you have that mindset on, well, somebody's going to be worse off without me or somebody's, you know, is a fool for breaking up with me or you know not wanting to change for me or whatever it is that you're going through especially talking about relationships like i say because that's usually when this shows up that's when we don't have the room to change ourselves we don't we and then we we don't pay attention to the reality that maybe it just wasn't meant for you two to be together long term people cross in our lives for reasons seasons in a lifetime and i know we hate saying that don't we y'all especially when you really like somebody it's like why why you can't stay you know what i'm saying why why we got to go through this why we have to break up or why is the relationship ending or why is it so hard to push through but sometimes they're crossing your path just like you're crossing their path to give you whatever you need for that that point in your life maybe both of you are going to are meant to marry someone else and the skills that you learn from that relationship is you can take that into building yourself and improving yourself for your marriage. So I think we have to work on being cautious with what over exaggerating our, ourselves because when you say, oh, well, this person was stupid for losing me, it's they lost and you know, all this and that, we take the focus off of ourselves and we put it onto the other person. And when you do that, you know what happens? You don't see your flaws. You can't, you you can't, that, that other person could take what you're saying and say, oh yeah, I was messed up for doing this or, say, or saying that or, you know, not giving enough in the relationship or whatever. And they can work on that and they can change. You're helping them change for the next person because the inevitable is going to happen. Whether you play a part in, in helping them or not, if it's not meant for you two to be together, it's meant for them to be with somebody else, that's what's going to happen. So you are wasting so much energy, you know, focusing on all their flaws, which may not be a flaw to the person that they're meant to be with. It may be a flaw for you because your love language may be something totally different that they couldn't offer you. Or where you're at spiritually and where they're at spiritually at that time just didn't align. It could be so many reasons that it, it just didn't work out or that it, it just feels like it's not working out. And it doesn't make that person a bad person. It doesn't make you a bad person unless you truly did do some messed up stuff. And we all know what that is. But we're not going to dig deep into that. You already know. So, uh, But in general, if it's just not working, don't always look at it as that person is going to be unhappy without me or whatever. Because that's not necessarily the truth. Just like you wouldn't want someone to wish bad on you and wish that you would never be happy again because you didn't stay in that relationship or that situation, right? So we need to stop doing that to other people. And again, stop looking at it like you don't have flaws. When, especially in a, a relationship that fails, that's the best time to acknowledge your flaws because then you can see what your triggers were. You can see how you were negative. You can see your toxic traits. We all have them. You can see where you need to work on yourself and, and you know, maybe build more trust or, you know, be able to build your communication in a more positive way. But if you're so busy focusing on that person lost and you were the greatest thing since sliced bread in their life, then guess what? you're going to continue to think that and you're not going to grow that seed that was planted in you you're not going to water it because you feel like well there's nothing wrong with me but that person's fault and that's all you're going to focus on not realizing that that's a flaw right there just seeing seeing the flaws and the issues in other people but not seeing your own not seeing how you may have contributed to 
them feeling a certain way or reacting a certain way or how or contributing to, contributing to how the relationship even ended. We all play a part. There's no one person. There, there's not. I mean, it's, if the relationship works, it takes two people. If the relationship fails, it takes two people. So both people need to be aware at all times of what's making it work, what's, what's not. And if the relationship fails, again, like I said, that's the perfect time for you to, to reflect and say, why didn't the relationship work? What did I do to contribute to the relationship failing? And if you really, truly, genuinely feel like you didn't do anything, then why did I choose this type of person? Why did I continue staying with this type of person? Why did I allow this, this, and this to go on? See what I'm saying? Like you, you. It doesn't matter. You, you, you're gonna play a part in it regardless. So it's a flaw that you need to figure out what it is, so that you can work on it and improve for your future and whoever you're meant to be with, or just be just improving for yourself in general, so you don't settle for certain things anymore. So you, you. You know, you're not walking around, you know, being mean and bitter and, and thinking everybody, oh, all men is this and all women is that. When really, it's just something that you just, you never, you you harvested all the pain from the breakups and, you know, the, the situationships or the, the circumstances that never went anywhere. And instead of you saying, why did I accept this? Why did I choose this? What did I know before? And what did I accept? You are just looking at it as, oh, I don't trust this type of man. I don't trust that type of woman. And it's just going to continue to just build up every new relationship, every new friendship, every new, every, any type of relationship you can think of. You're going to continue to build up that animosity because you are thinking that you're, you're flawless. And we all have flaws. So that's my opinion about it. Um, you definitely can do with it what you want. You can agree with me disagree with me that's fine but that's just something that i'm learning about myself and i'm applying to my own life too because i used to do that a lot y'all i used to sit back and be like well if this person didn't do that then i would have still been friends with them if this person wouldn't have said this then our relationship would have worked but what did i do even if i feel like i didn't do nothing wrong why did i stick around for as long as i did even, i don't care if you stay for one week with, with that person why did you stay a whole week if you felt like what they were doing or what they were saying was deal breakers for you, then why did you why did you accept it in the first place? Hmm? Something to think about. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's be polite. Let's not be rude because everybody's entitled to an opinion. You can drop your opinion below. You can let me know what you think. If you agree, you don't agree, let me know if you don't agree, why not? And you know, we can we ain't gotta be rude. We can just this is what I believe, and you know, this is why I don't agree with that, and that's it. You know, I can't I can't make you think like me, and you can't make me think like you. So keep the conversation going. Someone would benefit from reading your comments, so be respectful and just you know, be real and authentic. But y'all let me know what you think in the comments box below, and we will talk next time. Bye.